What's, your, what's some of your advice to a young uh, director? A young director coming up, what's your advice? Um, Doing their first show, maybe they've just done a couple of shows. I would say that you have to have a, you have to spend the time working to build your own process and to build your own language. Um, a play is like, uh, like the like directing a play is like a play itself. Uh, if you go to the Royal Ontario Museum into the dinosaur exhibit and you see like the, the the big skeleton and you know and all that, and I said your play is what you're trying to say is that spine, and so everything else has to hinge onto that spine. So you have to know the spine, mm. and if you if you know that, then you're one step further ahead for your process. Mm -hmm. I. I start off every rehearsal process by saying, words define our universe. Words create our universe. What kind of universe do we want to have in this room? And I'm very particular about words. Um, I tell, oftentimes I'll tell the same story over a number of rehearsal uh, projects because they've all been road tested and calibrated to get a certain response at the right time. And when you've made the mistake, it was on, it was on Toronto the Good, I said something to an actor and the words came out of my mouth and it was like you could see them traveling across the room. And I was going, no, 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 no. And the actor is open hearted and he goes boom like an arrow and I was, because it was the wrong phrase, the wrong image. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, then you're pooched. Then you're three, four, five days digging that out of them. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the language that I use is, is tested, tried and true to get the point across without creating the catastrophe. That's my language. Mm -hmm. So I say you need to develop your own language and your own process. Mm -hmm. Um... And, and, and find that, find that uh, rapport with the artists. Mm -hmm. Phil, I want to thank you. I, I, it's, I, I get a little emotional a little bit because it's funny as it, I, I remember, I never thought I'd ever meet you. I never <laughs> thought, well, it was true. Like, you know, like there was a point in time that you may not understand your impact. And actually now I, I experience it myself where people come up to me and I go, you don't know me. I'm a nobody. You have no yeah. idea. But you may think, you may not understand your, your, your impact uh, on uh, not just people of color, young people of color, but also in the, the theater community. You may not understand it, but it's massive. It's huge. Oh, and thank your, you for that. your work has meant a lot to not just me, but, but many of uh, people in the theater community. And I know what you're saying about, you know, Artistic directors move on, and mm -hmm. they sometimes they're not recognized. But that may be true for artistic directors of insignificance, or artistic directors who perhaps had no skill, mm. perhaps artistic directors who were not very good artistic directors. But for those who are uh, who had a huge talent and a an, uh, large heart, uh, they are very much remembered. Mm. Well, thank you for that, Andrew. It's uh... Yeah, it's you know you you. It's been a it's been a long road, you know. It's mm. been an interesting road, and it's been. It's been challenging, and I like to say you know. The tip of the spear dulls first, and um, I got I, I got to say if if next year wasn't going to be Obsidian's twentieth, mm. um, I may have left this year um, but I wanted to be I wanted to stay around for um, for the 20th well wow. you know so it was it was a big idea that 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 we that we did you know um, James Baldwin says the place where I will fit will not exist until I build it so I kind of think that's what I've done well done.